So this is uh, essentially a response to Julian Walker's blog on uh, Gaia, which I'll post uh, a link to in the description, um, where he talked about the need to remove uh, metaphysics from uh, integral philosophy and spirituality and, and practice. And um, the problem seems to be that so often um, Ken Wilber and other uh, integralists will describe evolution and argue against uh, neo-Darwinianism and reductionism uh, in a way that sounds uh, uncomfortably uh, uh, similar to creation science. Um, and that's a problem. Um, now certainly I do not uh, hold the view uh, that Richard Dawkins does or uh, Daniel Dennett uh, or Steven Pinker or any of these um, uh, religious atheists. Um, in a sense, you know, atheism is still a religion, I think. It's, it's a reaction to theism that's rooted, rooted in emotion uh, rather than real uh, scientific uh, thought, which is not to say that Dennett and Dawkins and, and Pinker and any other prominent scientific atheists, science is somehow tainted by their uh, atheism. Not at all. Um, the science of neo-Darwinianism does tell us more than just uh, some particular cultural perspective on what evolution is. Um, what it tells us is that some types of organisms, specifically sexually reproducing organisms, um, are naturally selected when gene mutation causes a different phenotypic expression that uh, either allows them to adapt to an environment or doesn't. Um, and through this process, certain uh, niches are um, explored and exploited by organisms, and uh, that this mechanism is present in evolution is undeniable. Uh, however, I think it's a huge leap to then conclude that this particular uh, paradigm, say, of evolutionary biology this particular way of approaching the phenomenon of evolution uh, explains everything. It doesn't. It provides us with one mechanism. It doesn't tell us what life is. It doesn't tell us uh, why life happened. It doesn't tell us what consciousness is. It is a very small piece of the puzzle. Um, there are other perspectives to take. Uh, on evolution, more holistics and systems-oriented perspectives. Uh, Stuart Kaufman comes to mind. Um, Richard uh, Lewontin, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his last name right, but uh, Francisco Varela. Um, these guys see genes as a part of the picture, but not the causal determining factor in how an organism uh, expresses itself and experiences the world. Um, they just have a different way of uh, approaching the phenomenon. Uh, neither one, you know, gross reductionism or holism is the true way of describing the phenomenon. They're just asking different questions and getting different answers back. And only by integrating all of these questions and answers can we get uh, a clearer understanding of what's really going on. Though, what's really going on is far from obvious to anyone. Uh, and so rather than argue for some, you know, imminent spiritual force or eros driving evolution to higher stages of complexity, which, you know, sometimes when I get into some uh, more poetic, metaphorical discussion of evolution, I'll go that direction just because it feels right. It's not, strictly speaking, scientific, though. It's me interpreting um, scientific data for my particular worldview. Um, so, uh, knowing that that's the case, we don't necessarily have to assert that when we're talking about the science itself. We can just say um, uh, that uh, we're still trying to understand the phenomenon. We don't 
know what evolution is because of uh, Darwin. We know one mechanism that operates um, among certain organisms. You know, it doesn't natural selection uh, and and the neo-Darwinian picture of evolution doesn't necessarily apply um, to prokaryotic uh, organisms. Um, they aren't sexually selecting um, organisms. In fact, they can share DNA um, by just you know slipping it between their membranes uh, without having to reproduce. And so, in a sense, the only competition is is the whole community trying to maintain its its uh, you know systemic function as a whole planetary living system and there, there's no real the only selection is the planet as a whole uh, within that planetary system though it's all cooperation uh, natural selection by Darwin's mechanism or um, you know the updated selfish gene theory of Dawkins it applies to sexually selecting organisms in specific environmental situations. Uh, it leaves out a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on. Um, and we have to remember that. And so I think by just saying what I've said, we can show that when an atheist takes neo-Darwinianism as the truth about what nature is, they're simplifying a very complicated uh, scientific picture uh, for the sake of confirming their worldview and that may not necessarily be valid and what this does is it just takes metaphysics out of the picture which is you know when we interpret a strictly positivistic or scientific understanding of data in order to um, validate our deep-seated cultural um, desires or, or uh, perspectives um, when we wipe metaphysics away though we can see that nobody uh, whether you're integral spiritual reductionist atheist rationalist nobody is really threatened by our scientific understanding of nature at this point it's all open uh, to interpretation but the more of science and bio biology and bio and evolutionary biology that we take into consideration the less likely I think we will be um, to focus in on one specific interpretation, the more open we'll be to, to see the forest instead of the trees and to recognize that there's a lot we still need to learn um, and also though a lot that uh, it's foolish to latch onto as, as the one true answer or underlying mechanism for how life occurred. We don't know that yet. Um, so I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, thanks for listening. Let me know what you think and post video responses and let's get engaged in this topic because it's very very important because you know how we understand what life is uh, why it functions the way it does is uh, I think central to our understanding of what it means to be human what it means to have a culture and to share a communal understanding of reality with other people so um, yeah let me know what you think and thanks for listening take it easy